So $2,500 is more than you should probably ever spend on a gaming computer, but what would you actually get? So for a CPU, we're going with the Intel Core i7-5960X. This is an 8-core CPU with 16 threads that has a 3GHz base clock and a 3.5GHz boost clock. It's also on the LGA 2011-3 socket and it costs $1629. For a motherboard, we're going with the Asus Rampage 5 Extreme. This motherboard also has the 2011-3 socket, also has USB 3.1, M.2, SATA 3 6 gigabits per second, and it costs $829. For memory, we're going with Corsair Dominator Platinums. We have got 64 gigabytes, so 8 8 gigabyte sticks of 2666 megahertz memory at C15. This memory costs $1,258. For our boot drive, we're going with the Samsung 950 Pro M.2. This is a 512GB M.2 drive that has a 2500MB per second read and 1500MB per second write, and it costs $509. For storage, we're going with four Samsung 850 Pros. We've gone with the two terabyte drives that have a 520MB per second read and write, we're going to put these in a RAID 5, that gives us 6 terabytes of storage and one 2 terabyte drive for redundancy. These drives cost $5,396. For mass storage, we're going with Western Digital Black. We've got four 6 terabyte drives that spin at 7200 RPM and have 64 megs of cache each. We're using four of them in a RAID 5 configuration, so we'll have 18 terabytes of storage and one for redundancy. And these drives cost $1,820. For graphics cards, we're going with four Asus GeForce GTX 980 Ti Strixes. These cards have 6GB of GDDR5 memory clocked at 7200MHz. A 1216 MHz base clock and a 1317 MHz boost clock. And these cards cost $4,476. To power this build, we're going with a Corsair AX1200i. This is a 1200 watt 80 plus platinum power supply that's fully modular that costs $459. To house this build, we're going with a Thermaltake Core WP1000. This case supports EATX boards, has four USB 3 ports, and is f***ing huge. It also costs $649. Now for all the cooling components. For water blocks, we've gone with EK, and we have three different types of blocks here. We have four EKFC Titan X and 980 Ti water blocks in Plexi and Nickel. We have an EK Supremacy Evo in Plexi and Nickel. We have two EK RAM Monarch modules, in the X4 configuration for our RAM, also in Plexi and Nickel, and these cost $773. For our pump and reservoir combo, we have an XSPC Photon D5 270. This includes a 12 volt D5 pump, which is the only pump I'd use for water cooling. It is made from an unknown metal, acetal, and glass, and it has G 1 quarter inch threads, and it only costs $189. Now for radiators, we have two AlphaCool Nexus Monsters in the 360mm configurations and two AlphaCool Nexus UT60s in the 480mm full copper configuration. These radiators cost $648. Now there are a lot of fittings here so I'm just going to name them off my notes. We have three Primo Chill revolver compression fittings with a half inch outer diameter. We have Primo Chill half inch rigid PETG 3x4 foot tubing. We have EK, we have an EK AFT splitter in the G1 quarter inch configuration. We have an XSPC M20 to G1 quarter inch fill port. 
and a Bits Power G1 quarter inch mini valve, all for $479. Now for monitors. We've gone with three LG 34UM97 ultra wide monitors. These monitors have a 3440 by 1440 resolution. They are curved, they're also 21 by 9 and have a built in USB hub. And all of them cost $4,797. We also went with a Philips 4K monitor that is 40 inch and 16 by 9 for $1,129. So you're going to have these configured with the three ultra wides on your desk and the 40 inch 4K monitor on the wall. So thanks for watching guys. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment if you have anything to say about this video, share this video if you think someone else would like it, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.